magnetic field lines. What are magnetic field lines? The concept of the magnetic field lines is related with the magnet as well as for current carrying conductor. Let us see first for a piece of bar magnet. We just draw a bar magnet. You can see here. It is just in rectangular in shape. Yes. And uh, North Pole is Chujen, to the Vani. It is located at to the Vani. And uh, South Pole to the other end. So we have a bar magnet. And uh, we know that around the given piece of bar magnet, there is some attractive properties and there is magnetic fields. Magnetic field is due to the magnetic field lines which are coming out from the North Pole and ending to the South Pole. How to represent it? You can see it easily. You just suppose Field lines are nothing but it is imaginary field lines coming to the south pole and emerging from the north pole. So, to both the side, we will show you here. Yes, field line is emerging out from the north pole and ending to the south pole. So many number of field lines can be shown. Yes. The remarkable point is that this must be shown as it is converging to the south pole and emerging from the north pole. Arrow shows the direction. And in this way, to the lower end also, to the other side, we can also show the field lines. Yes, it is going toward the south pole. Yes, ending to the south pole. This very field lines. To both the sides, number of field lines are shown. Uh, one more field lines can also be shown here. We have some space around it. Here and to the other side also, very nicely we have drawn here arrow so the direction of the field line. And this is the bar magnet. This is the bar magnet. This is the bar magnet. Yes. Now the question said as is here, how to define the magnetic field lines? Magnetic field lines are nothing but the an imaginary field lines. The imaginary field lines. Imaginary field lines. Imaginary field lines around a given magnet, around a given magnet, which uh, indicated toward the Direction in which the magnetic compass needle shows the deflections of the North Pole. So, in many field lines around a given magnet, which is along 
the direction of direction of north pole of the magnetic compass needle so in magnetic field line arising from the north pole of the bar magnet and it is always directed toward the north pole of the magnetic compass which is free to move and it is north pole of the magnetic compass needle which is free to move so field lines is decided according to the moment of the magnetic compass needles north pole when we put the magnetic compass needle it is free to move and the direction along which the magnetic compass needles is free to move is the direction of imaginary field lines and uh, the patterns of arrangement of all the field lines is such that it always arises from the north pole we have shown here with the arrow and the direction to which the field line comes is the south pole of the magnet and uh, so it is the magnetic compass needle which decide the actual direction of the field lines now there are some important factors an important properties of the magnetic field lines what are the properties 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 of magnetic field lines magnetic field lines number of field lines makes the magnetic field so there is some uh, special concept given to the field lines and according to the definitions where all the field lines are nothing but the imaginary and it is decided with the help of the free movement of the north pole of the magnetic compass needle which is placed near to the magnet so number one property of the magnetic field lines is that we should bear in mind the magnetic field lines originate from the north pole and ends to the south pole number one properties the magnetic field lines magnetic field lines originate originates from the north pole from the north pole of the magnet and in to in to the south pole of the magnet so this very important properties decide the conventions of the emergence and convergence of the magnetic field lines second property of magnetic field lines is that magnetic field lines are closed and continuous curves so we should note down these two second points the magnetic field lines are magnetic field lines are magnetic field lines are closed and continuous continuous curves closed and continuous curves we should 
take care of the points. Now the third point of the third important properties of the magnetic field lines is that magnetic field lines are crowded near the poles where magnetic field is strong. In the diagram, it is seen that so many crowds of the field lines emerging from the North Pole and in equal amounts, the number of field lines converging to the South Pole. So more and more coordination of the field lines is near to the two poles. So we should also note on this, the magnetic field lines are crowded near the poles, near the poles, where the magnetic field, where the magnetic field is strong. and separated for far from the poles and separated far from the poles where magnetic field is weak where Magnetic field is weak. So stronger is the point of the poles where so many crowdness of the magnetic field lines are observed and weaker sections of the magnetic fields are observed in between the separations of the two poles. Approximately near to the middle of the magnet. Similarly, fourth important characteristic properties of the magnetic field lines is the magnetic field lines never intersect each other. The most important properties of the field line. The magnetic field lines never intersect each other. never intersect each other at any point at any point in the field so there should not be any kind of the cross intersections of the field lines the cross intersection of the field lines is maintained by all the field lines emerging from North Pole and converging to South Pole. They do not intersect each other. What is the reason behind it? Suppose that if they intersect at any one point, what happens then? Suppose that the two magnetic field lines intersect each other. So what happens then? Suppose that is the point where magnetic field lines have intersected. So at the point of intersection, at the point of intersection, what happens then? Field line one and field line two. If they intersect the field having its own tangential direction of the field line. Field number one, following the tangent at the point P. If second field line is intersecting at the same common point, then there will also a component of the field acting tangentially. For simplicity, we have given the name B2. So if they intersect, if they intersect, what happens then? 
if they intersect what happens then then there would be there would be two different directions of the magnetic field lines two different directions of the magnetic field lines for one piece of magnet for one piece of magnet which is not possible which is not possible which is not possible if one kind of magnet is there there must be one field and if they intersect by any cause at the point of intersection there will be two tangential direction of the magnetic field taken as the two different directions of the magnetic field which is practically not possible for the one kind of magnetic that is why they never intersect at any point in the field so this is this should be noted down as a very remarkable so these four uh, points and characteristics of the magnetic field lines are very very important and this should be revised this such kind of the discussions of the